Clear prop. gentlemen and welcome to Grumman Pilots YouTube channel directly supporting the Grumman Pilots Association and this morning we're doing an electronic ignition change so the right mag that we have right down here will be coming out as part of that process is we've gathered all four of the leads from the right mag and have brought them over to one side of the aircraft this is anticipatory because we're going to be removing the left mag the right mag and putting in the mag timing housing at the same time we've also taken the left mag leads and the left mag will now be driving all the spark plugs on the top of the cylinders. So the left mag will be firing the top plugs and we're going to set it up for the electronic ignition system to fire the bottom plugs and we'll be placarding the firewall uh, letting people know that the top plugs and the bottom plugs though they look alike are not interchangeable. And if we get some time we're also going to be addressing this um, rampant exhaust leak that we have on all these bead clamps on this airplane while we're here. But Anyway, as long as the electronic ignition system is going in, it looks like the coil pack is going to get mounted right here on the motor mount. Though it looks like we have real estate on the firewall on both sides, we do not because this has a fan mower for cooling the avionics. And on this side, there's another device up there that's already hooked up. And so we're just going to mount it to the motor mount. Uh, so we've moved the spark plug wires. We've got the left mag now driving all the top plugs. Uh, the engine is at top dead center for number one. It's important that when you go to put the mag timing housing in that the engine is timed at top dead center. Not 25 like a magneto, but at top dead center because the controller will know where you are at top dead center and change you over to 25 and higher up at altitude. So that's where we are in the process. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pull the uh, right mag out, put in the mag timing housing and get that hooked up and get the coil pack mounted so that we can trim all the spark plug wires and we'll be back in a few minutes so stand by for some more fun. Alright so we're in process as you can see right there there's a big gaping hole on the back of the engine that's where the right mag used to be and we're getting ready to put the mag timing head in and it's been timed We've taken a gear off of a right mag and cotter pinned it onto the gear. The engine is at zero degrees top dead center, not 25 before, but actually on zero. And that's why the pin is in the back of the timing head so that we put this thing in at zero degrees. And the electronic ignition controller figures out where we are in the rotation process from there. So it starts uh, like an impulse couple at top dead center. And then after it begins idling, it fires at 25 like your mag, and then up at altitude it can go up to 40 degrees advanced. So we're going to go ahead and put the mag timing head in now, so stand by. So we have the mag timing housing in place of the magneto now. It's timed at zero degrees. We've pulled the timing rivet out of the back, and the wire for the harness is up here ready to be plugged into the harness when we run the harness. And now we're going to move over to mounting the coil pack right here on this side of the engine mount above the uh, above the battery box so stand by well we're at the point where we're mounting the coil pack now the mag timing housing is in we were going to mount the uh, the coil pack on the other side above the battery box unfortunately it would restrict being able to get the battery box out uh, being able to change your battery and getting that so we decided to come over here on this side and mount it to the motor mount so it's in place and the two wires for the number one and the number three spark plug have already been routed through. We're bringing them around. This will be the number one wire and the, the rest of it will be the number three wire. We're going to verify that one more time before we actually cut a wire. But uh, then we'll be dressing up the plugs are in. They've already been uh, torqued. So this is getting the wires in off the coil pack. We still have the harness to run and a bunch more to do. But just showing you how it's coming along, routing the wires, and finding a place for the coil pack. We normally would choose the firewall, but again, on this airplane, there's an instrument right here, and there's a big uh, cooling fan right there that we didn't want to have to move. So 
we're mounting on the motor mount with the Dell clamps. And uh, stand by for some more fun. Okay, the work is coming along. We've got the spark plug leads in. We've got them bridged. We have pierced the firewall, bringing out the uh, connection for the uh, magnetic uh, timing housing, as well as for the coil pack. Those are in place now. And uh, we've pretty much buttoned up everything in the engine compartment <coughs> for the electronic ignition. We have not sealed this hole yet because we're not quite done with it. Uh, now we're off to Home Depot to get a, a manifold fitting, uh, which will just be a brass T and some hole plugs. And we will be ready to start working on the inside, hooking up the power, hooking up the boxes, and wrapping this up. So stand by for some more fun. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and here we are back with the electronic ignition install. We're actually finished. The manifold pressure sensor box is plumbed into the manifold line. The controller is hooked up. We installed two breakers in the panel uh, for it, and uh, a new switch plate and a new left-hand panel. You can see it. Um, believe it or not, master switches. We just got a price from Fletcher. They're twenty-eight dollars and sixty-nine cents, I believe, like twenty-nine dollars. So we just put a new master switch in. The old one was kind of sticky. So anyway, this completes the electronic ignition install. We've already done an engine run-up. Um, and as you'll notice, these new new left panels are out of metal, and they won't roll and do like the vinyl over here on, on, this, on this side won't roll up and curl. Didn't need the mic and the phone jack because he had his right above. So anyway, another electronic ignition. I think this is number 11 for Yankee Aviation. So we hope you found all this information informative. Uh, we hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a good day flying your Grumman.